ได้ค่อนข้างมากไม่ว่าจะเป็นภาพเคลื่อนไหวเป็นคลิปมีเป็นภาพตอนที่ลำเลียงตำรวจที่บาดเจ็บออกมาจากเขตกระทะซึ่งในเวลาต่อมาตำรวจก็ตัดสินใจถอนกำลังนะครับเมื่อวานนี้ที่เกิดขึ้นเมื่อวานนี้ที่เกิดขึ้นเมื่อวานนี้ที่เกิดขึ้นเมื่อวานนี้ที่เกิดขึ้นเมื่อวานนี้ที
now, just to explain, uh, Patricia, this, this is a, a group of buildings outside of the capital city where often Prime Minister Yingluck goes for her meetings. She's unable to go to Prime Minister's office because of the protesters who barricaded themselves around that office there. So she actually moves from building to building trying to avoid them. And she's often at the Defence Ministry. This is where CNN interviewed her just a few weeks ago, ahead of the election uh, at the beginning of February. Uh, and so Sutep Tauksavan last night announced on stage and called on protesters to go en masse to the Defence Ministry. And he also, uh, as we've heard before, many threats before, uh, said that he is going to send out uh, uh, his own unit to try and take Prime Minister Yingluck into custody. And just to remind our viewers what, what's going on here in Thailand, uh, uh, because of course Thailand is a popular tourist destination. People have been watching closely what's going on here, concerned about what's going on here from, from right around the world. So this is a group of people that believe Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat and her family who have long been embroiled in Thai politics should step down and move away. They believe this is a, a family, a political dynasty that no longer belongs in Thai politics. They, they say that she is corrupt and in fact the National Corruption uh, uh, Accountability Organization is investigating Prime Minister Yingluck for a rice scheme scandal right now. Uh, so they want to see her step down. She's refusing to go. She held an election. It was inconclusive. But and now we're seeing that things are getting up, up to boiling point on the streets in Bangkok. Patricia. So, Simon, to wrap it up, the inconclusive...